My favorite thing to do in my free time is to play games with my friends and family. But have you ever thought what can happen if you play them for too long? Board games and all games in general can have many effects on you. But So is there a way you can have a balance between bad and good games? I'm sure we all know that every type of game brings you closer to friends and family. But specifically board games tend to make people happier. That happiness just helps your body in many different ways. Happiness releases a chemical that helps relieve stress and boost your immune system. Not only that, it helps work on cognitive skills like your problem solving or your attention to something, and your visual perception, which is how you interpret your surroundings by using light. Board games can help prevent diseases such as Alzheimer's and dementia. Games like Chess, Checkers, and Monopoly can help you by making tough decisions faster. Finally, it reduces isolation which is contributing to making people's health worse. We all have probably played a digital game once in our lifetime, but are they really as great as you think? Digital, did you know playing brain or memory games for short periods of time on your smartphone can help you by helping you reduce chances of depression and promote healthy aging, while playing action-packed shooter games can help enhance the vision, quicken the reaction times, and help your hand-eye coordination. They can, but be careful not to play them for too long because it can cause mental disorders in the brain now, and violent behaviors in teens. Now wait, I just said that it helped the brain, and now I'm saying it causes a mental disorder? Well, that's because while you were playing on the smartphone of yours, you were playing a brain game which helped you in many ways. But when you played, on the, well, but when you played the shooter game for such a large amount of time, it hurt your eyes because it caused a large amount of strain on it for looking at a screen for so long. There is a way to prevent this by taking large breaks from digital games when you do show signs of aggression and switch to playing some of those board games I told you about. It is important to have a balance between bad and good games. Video game companies such as Lumosity and Posted Science have been creating games which help, promote, which help reverse negative aging effects in elders. But if you don't have the balance, and as I said so before, play video games for too long, it can cause neurological and psychological yeah. <laughs> disorders in the brain and cause violent behaviors in teens. But in October in 2015, the American Psychological Association did find out that video games are just a factor towards violent behaviors and many more risk factors are involved in violent behaviors. My, in my opinion, you really should play board games more often. They can help you in so many ways. It is, it is okay to play video games every once in a while. I will always continue playing games of all sorts, and I hope you will too. So let me leave you with this. Play games more often, it will help you in many ways.